Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Well, I was working on this design over here and I found that we have text and if we click on this text, this text would expand. That means it would show you more text and then well, some of the text would be below this line or right below this bottom bar. So this text should be scrollable. Okay, so we'll see how to make scrollable. Well, but I think all of us know that the default scrollable system is like this. If you want to make a widget or text or paragraph, you want to make it scrollable. So what do you do? You'd wrap it around single child scroll view and then that would be wrapped around expanded and then that would be wrapped around the column. So that's how it should work. Now your child could be text widget or anything or any custom text widget like mine. It doesn't really matter so that's how it should work and it, it it is the basic rule okay and it works let's prove it so now if I go ahead and run it you'll see this is the basic text I have over here now if I go ahead and scroll it and actually I can scroll it once again the basic idea of scrolling for any text widget or any widget your text widget should be wrapped around single child scroll view and then that single child scroll view should wrap around expanded and expanded should wrap around column widget. And do understand that because scaffold gets the idea of your screen width and height. So column widget has a relationship with scaffold and column itself get to know the width and height. So that's why even though we don't mention width and height, it still works and scrollable, okay? Now we would think like, well, this same principle we could apply over here we would think the same principle would apply over here let's go ahead and check it now here i do have this text widget right so this is the same as this text widget my custom text widget so what i would do i'll just cut this one and uh, remove that now i'll put it here well just like this I'll wrap it around single child scroll view. So I'll wrap it around the widget and I'll call it single child scroll view. And then single child scroll view, I'll wrap it around expanded widget. Let's see how it works. Okay, all right. Now I have this thing. Well, okay, now I can cut this one. What I would do, I'd do here column, okay, and children. And within children, I'll put my expanded widget. Now, well, of course, this, this this part, what I did over here, exactly same as this one, okay? All right. So if I go ahead and run it, I, what I would expect, I'd expect to make it scrollable. But on the other hand, I get this error, okay? Well, uh, if we take a look, this column is actually a child of column but actually this is not the problem though but this column this child is also child of this container and this container is child of this positioned widget and positioned widget is wrapped around this stack widget well this is the problem over here we saw early that and i told you that column widget establishes a relationship with scaffold and column widget gets to know the screen size width and things like that and based on that it lays out things but it doesn't exactly work same way if you have the stack widget okay stack widget doesn't really get this information from scaffold okay so a lot of this width height you have to do on your own okay yeah so that's the problem but we know that now we have to mention our widgets heights which is in our case uh, sorry in our case this column, we need to wrap it around a constraint. Constraint means width and height. So what I would do, we'll wrap it around a container because we know that container, using container, we can apply width and height, right? So that's what we do. So here we do media query dot off context dot size dot width. All right, and at the same time, we'll give it a height. We could give it any height, it doesn't really matter. Your text itself could be much larger than the height. Okay, as you can see, I have a lot of text over here. So now let's go ahead and run it. Yes. 
Well, it ran a while, and if we come over here, we don't see any error. Okay? All right, now if you click on this, it is also scrollable. As you see, you can scroll as much as you want. Okay? All right, well, to make it beautiful, actually, I can do a bit of padding over here. So I would do padding, and I would do const edge inserts only. And here I would do, say, right, right 20 pixel, and the bottom 50 pixels. Now let's go ahead and run it one more time. So here it looks much better now. And you can also click on this. So we'll expand the widget. Now we'll be able to scroll. Okay? So we can scroll as long as you want, or you can collapse it again. All right? Okay, just like this. So what do we learn over here? We learned that if you just want to make your text scrollable, then you should wrap this text around a single child scroll view, and then that one should be wrapped around expanded, and expanded should be wrapped around column. And column should be wrapped around something that has a constraint, which means that has width and height. In our case, first in our first case, that's a scaffold. Well, if you don't have column directly, like in our case, the parent widget, I mean, I mean, sorry, I mean, the column, if the column doesn't have any constraint, direct constraint, then you need to give it a constraint. You can give it a constraint using with like container widget, and you can set up pretty much any width and height. It won't create any overflow. As you saw, just now I did height 300, but actually my actual text is much longer than this. Okay, so that's how it should work. So once again, this container constraint, basically if you have stack widget, okay? If you don't have stack widget, if you have scaffold directly connected with column, then you don't need any container. Anyway, hopefully you learned something. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you so much.